Hey guys, it's Byron again to testify for Jesus Christ. One time, I was supposed to share in front of a men's group at a church. Just the day before, <coughs> the Lord brought this to my remembrance. But in, in the way he did it, it was more like a, a, a word of knowledge. It just, it just came to me real quick. And it was about some old beagles that my dad had and how they ran rabbits. To, to put it in a nutshell, this one girl beagle named Jenny, she would never run anything but a rabbit. Never. I mean, no. You know, some of the dogs would be off chasing deer. Some of the dogs would be off chasing possums or raccoons or whatever. This dog, nothing but rabbits. Always had her nose to the, you know, down, always looking. Now, I wanted to show a video of some beagles chasing a rabbit. Now, I've kind of modified it so you can see the beagles on top. They're coming down, following a trail, and you can see a rabbit. And I want to show this, and I want you to just pay particular attention to how the beagles have their nose to the ground. Good job, little girl. Keep coming. <laughs> You can see that those beagles work really hard and they uh, if they ran into a situation where they they weren't quite sure what that rabbit had done they started circling to investigate and they did some serious investigation now <clears throat> what I want you to do is to think about yourself and think about if that rabbit was Jesus Christ the Holy Spirit and think have I searched the scriptures, which is the word of God, and Jesus Christ is the word of God, like those beagles searched for that rabbit? Have I put my nose into the book, and when I ran into something that I didn't quite understand, I investigated. I started doing circles. I looked over in Psalm, and I said, well, here's what they say in Psalms, and I looked in Revelation, and here's what they said in Revelation. In essence, I'm saying, have we been good Bereans? The Lord gave me this word straight. I mean, I shared it with the men's group. Not, I didn't have the video at the time, but I talked about that one little dog, man. She never, ever showed out and tried to be something that she wasn't. She never got off trail like some of the other dogs. They'll just bring their head up in the air and run out to the front of, just so they can be in the front. They don't know where the word of God went. They don't know where the Spirit of God was supposed to lead them. They just know they wanted to be in front. I say that to just say, let's put our word and put our noses in the Bible and let's read. And when we come to a place that we don't understand, don't don't resist the temptation of drawing a false conclusion. Start doing circles and do circles. And you can sometimes take a part of the Bible that's really difficult for you or whatever you know there's a nugget there so you want to keep looking but the, the worst thing you could do is draw a conclusion based on what somebody else said 
And now you're running with your head up and you don't have your head in the Bible. Like those dogs, man. You know, they put their head to the ground, got their nose right down there where that rabbit was, and that's what we need to do. Put our nose in the Word of God and be diligent. And if it takes us three years to come to an understanding on one particular thing, if we're right three years from now, it's better than be wrong for all that time and misleading others. And that's what's happening. You know, that happens a lot. Happens a lot. Somebody think, they just go ahead and draw a conclusion, got their head up, they draw a conclusion and start barking, brings all these other people to them, and they don't even know which way the word of God went, which way the rabbit went. So I'll let you go.